A while back I made a video where I asked Christians whether they would kill someone if God told them to do it. If God somehow communicated with them, proved that he was God, and told them to kill a particular person, would they actually kill them? And what is scary and a little bit disheartening to me is how many answers I got that were like this one. Here this person is saying, of course they would because he's God. They would feel bad about it, but they're not sure they should feel bad about it. Well, this is exactly what I think is so dangerous about religion. There's reality and then there's what the religion teaches you. I appreciate the question, my guy, but this is not how God operates. You see, there's no possibility of God asking us to do anything that is contrary to his character. But beyond that, you're claiming moral superiority over God. By what standard do you claim that your morality is more valid than God's? Without an objective standard of morality, your sense of right and wrong are simply based on your ever-changing opinion. For the Christian, it's easy to go back to God's 10 commandments and know that he condemned murder. For the atheist, there is no foundation to say that murder is wrong. I want to acknowledge that they still know it's wrong, but that's because God has instilled us each with a sense of morality. Instead of presenting twisted hypotheticals, I want you to come to terms with the true God of the Bible. The one that says we've all sinned and yet gave himself so that we could be reconciled to God and be forgiven and have eternal life. That is not a malicious God. That is a God of love and he deserves your worship. Trust in him today. Follow for more Christ-centered content and help support my mission on Patreon.